Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to walk you through the process of connecting any API to your WordPress website. Let's jump right in and get started. The first thing you need to do is install a plugin. The plugin we're using is free, so no worries about costs. To begin, head over to your WordPress dashboard. On the left sidebar, you'll see a section labeled Plugins. Click on it and then select the option Add New. In the search bar at the top of the page, type in WP Get API and hit Enter. This will bring up the plugin you need. Once you find it, go ahead and click Install Now. After the installation is complete, click on the Activate button. Once activated, the plugin will appear under the Installed Plugins section. From here, click on the API Setup option to continue. Now that the plugin is installed and activated, it's time to add your API. The first step is to give your API a name. For this example, let's use Random Quotes. Choose a name that's easy to remember and reflects the API's purpose. After that, you'll need to assign a unique ID for your API. This is crucial for ensuring that everything links together correctly. Once you've done that, you'll need to enter the base URL of your API. The base URL is the main link from which the API fetches its data. You'll need to copy this URL from the provider's documentation and paste it into the base URL field in the WordPress plugin settings. Once the base URL is entered, click on the Add New API button. This will take you to the section where you'll need to enter more details, like the unique ID and endpoint. For a random quote API, the endpoint might be something like random quote. You can find this endpoint in the API documentation. Copy the endpoint URL and paste it into the required field. Be sure to select the correct HTTP method, which is usually the GET method as specified by the API documentation. After entering all the necessary information, click on the Save button. You should now see your API name and endpoint listed in the plugin settings. To ensure that everything is working properly, you'll want to test the endpoint. Click on the Test Endpoint button. If the setup is correct, you'll see the data from the API displayed in the output. This data might appear as a JS on string format, which is perfectly fine at this stage. Now it's time to start using the API on your WordPress site. To do this, you need to grab the shortcode generated by the plugin. Copy the shortcode to your clipboard. Next, navigate to the Pages section in your WordPress dashboard and create a new page. In the Page Editor, search for the shortcode block and paste the API shortcode into that block. Once you're done, click on the Publish button. After publishing, click on the View Page button to see how it looks on your website. If the data isn't displaying as expected, there might be an issue with the format. Go back to the plugin's API Setup page and you can adjust the format. You might want to change it to either a PHP array or a JS on string, depending on what works best for the specific API you're using. If you want to customize how the data is displayed on your site, you can make further tweaks to the shortcode output. This might involve editing the function or adding extra code to tailor the display to your needs. And that's it. While connecting an API to WordPress might seem a bit overwhelming at first, it's actually quite simple once everything is set up. You can easily integrate data from external sources, whether it's quotes, weather updates, news feeds, or anything else, to enrich the content on your WordPress site. 